Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out their latest beta channel builds to the Windows 11 Insiders this week, starting on the 29th of September. Now, unlike last week, where the beta channel had no new features, there are a couple of new features that have been made available and improvements in the beta channel this week. So I thought just to keep you up to date and up to speed as to improvements in the beta channel, um, we could just take a quick look at the release notes and just to focus on some of those improvements. Now we can see the two builds are 2261.730 and 2622 is no longer. It's been upgraded to 2623 now with that point release of 0.730. And that's with update KB5017385. And just like the previous build, 2622, 2623, new features rolling out and 2261 still has new features off by default. And 2622 was bumped up to 2623 using an enablement package. So it's basically a small little update which just pushes that build up to differentiate between the uh, different builds with new features and those off by default. Now what's new in build 2623? The tablet optimized taskbar has now arrived in the beta channel this week. And I have posted on this previously, but just to touch on this very quickly. Um, and Microsoft has reintroduced a touch optimized taskbar and the taskbar will be collapsed or expanded as we can see based on whether your tablet or two-in-one device has a keyboard attached but can be toggled by swiping up or down on the taskbar and that's just a quick overview once again of that tablet optimized taskbar now being tested in the beta channel this week and then um, there's an update for the system tray which um, now users will see a rounded focus and hover treatment on all icons in the lower right and this is due to continued monetization of this experience but unfortunately um, it's not possible to drag and drop and even with Windows 11 version 22 H2 um, we still don't have a basic function in the system tray to drag and drop um, default system icons in the system tray yet so um, I really um, hope Microsoft does um, one day actually roll that out to the stable version of uh, the Windows 11 operating system drag and drop and still not possible to drag and drop uh, even in the beta channel this week. And then changes and improvements in build 22623. Um, there's a couple of improvements yet to the file explorer. Home now searches more recently opened Microsoft 365 cloud files. Um, Home search now shows recent file activity for cloud files when in details view and uh, Microsoft 365 cloud files can now be searched using additional file properties such as file location, extension and activity. And also um, File Explorer search will now, now show results as you type the full search results page will update live without needing to press enter. And um, then we get all the different fixes that have rolled out for both builds. And um, this is the beta channel, so there will be quite a lot of fixes and um, known issues, um, beta channel. So there will be some known issues as these are preview builds. And then you can try the new Outlook for Windows and Windows insiders who are also Office insiders can try out the new Outlook for Windows. Office insiders running beta channel or current channel preview will see a try new Outlook toggle. And I actually posted on this yesterday. So I'll leave a link in the description uh, to the new um, outlook for windows as i did post a more in-depth video on this yesterday so that's more or less what's new in the beta channel this week and the two main improvements the uh, tablet optimized taskbar for touchscreen devices and obviously those system tray updates now for the system tray in the bottom right of the taskbar so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one